The radiator had arrived and while it's not connected yet, it was at least here. The car itself is beginning to look a little bit more complete. Got a nice earth, earth thing there. Of course the earth earth stud. relay. Mm -hmm. And that's sat behind. So that's one of the basis, what, that's basis of media wiring. Yeah. You may notice a distinct lack of wires since we last saw the car. And this has been quite deliberate. Gary was basically now putting together the various parts of the heating system for the windscreen and as part of this the wiring kind of needed to be completely redone but the interior was now beginning to come together quite nicely. The gearbox had been stripped down and was now split between two rooms in Gary's house. The front room contained the main gears which were in surprisingly good condition considering the age of the gearbox. This thankfully meant that there was little work needed to actually do the restoration work, meaning this wasn't necessarily going to be as needed as we first thought. So in the front room were some of the main gears, some clips, the case and some of the bearings While in the kitchen were the rear housing for the fifth gear, bolts and some of the ancillary components. The gears within the oil pump had been replaced with some steel gears, which were certainly a lot more durable than the original vinyl gears that were originally installed in the pump. The remaining contents of the housing and parts of the main gear assembly as well were arranged very carefully with all the different parts labelled and laid out. These included the mounts, the, also the main bolts and also the fifth gear assembly itself, as well as the housing. A week later though it was all assembled and back in the garage. So basically that's the, that's the first uh, gearbox I've ever done. Second, new, you know, third, fourth, fifth's a bit hard to get in. Um, lift it, go that way, that's yep, the reverse. Good. So it's right other way now. Oops. Yep. Um, got to put reverse switch in. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to buy a new one just to be on the safe side. Okay. As mentioned earlier, the older wiring loom has been completely removed and is effectively being rebuilt from scratch. This was in part due to the complete relocation of the fuse boxes, but also the battery bay and a few other things as well, such as allowing more space for the new window blower arrangement at the front. But the old wiring loom was still kept around just in case there were parts that could still be salvaged and used. Waste not, want not. Yes, wires and more wires. So on to the new loom. Yeah, right, so that's real light. Yep. That's in dashboard and there's going to be a connector on the end of there. That's for your reverse switch on gearbox. And coming back. Uh, that's all your lights, your lights cluster at the back. That's um, fuel, fuel sender. So I've done it in two halves. And then this one, that's the dashboard. Okay. That's speakers. And then at this end, we've got courtesy light. Uh, rear D mist, uh, speakers again mm -hmm. at the back, and that yellow one's for fuel pump. So there's two there. You can see, you can see, by doing it in two sections, I can see what's what. Yeah. And if anything goes wrong, you just replace one rather than everything.
you just can't keep Gary down. While ill, he'd managed to get a new paint sprayer and found out what the colour was for the car, as well as putting parts of the new wiring loom in place. It don't look bad, you know, if you're a couple oh, no. of yards away, you look at it, it's, it's, not it's only bad. if you come close and have a good look at it, when you think, oh, there's a bit of an imp imperfection there, you know. Yeah. Not as back on and out. All fiberglass up. Yeah, well, I fiberglassed all that lot up and I, I domed it like that so that rainwater had run off it. And some idiot had drilled an hole in here for... Drainage. I have absolutely no idea why they've done it. Probably to drain the rainwater. Yeah, it? that's right. It's supposed to go that way or that way, but... Uh, I thought I'll fiberglass it up just just to make sure, you know, because... Yeah. And then... I, I drill it all and it's, it's near, near on perfect. It just wants a bit of sealant around there. <laughs> well, um, that hole that there were massive before it, like the oval, wasn't it? Like yes, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So it's just right size now. And the boot's on. Yeah. I remember taking and that off. Shuts. <laughs> Took us ages to get it to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> When we found out it had a little adjustment on it. Yeah. The new steering wheel, or the new steering wheel mount. Well, it's a new, it's a new um, tube. I put on a stainless steel tube for the column. Yeah. And... All wiring's done and all up back. Yeah. Apart from the stuff that goes up into the boot. No, that's done. Everything's oh, okay. done. All lights are done at that. Yeah. That courtesy light's done. And uh, that's that's ma that's majority of lights at the back. Yeah. And uh, uh, fuel fuel sender as well. And then them them wires there. That's that thick ones for. Um, Rear D mist. Yeah. That one's for fuel pump and then two are to do with courtesy light. So the new wiring loom's coming on? Starting, yeah. I've done Yeah, I've done the I've done the wire between the the uh, wiper motors and the uh, yeah, wiper motor. Yeah. And um when this thing and you've here, got some stuff going to the fuse box now. Yeah, um Basically, one of them brown wires comes out here, goes to this big relay, 40 amp relay, and then it comes back out, and then white ones are all ignition ones. So that'll be operated by ignition switch. Yeah. And then power goes out. And yeah. Oh, and another thing <laughs> I've done is cut a slot out where oh, the handbrake yeah handbrake's going to go down there hopefully on a bracket so Kobe's been a blessing then yep so the gearbox all intact yeah we're going to have a little film around there you can see how release bearing and everything oh I remember that setup in my old Rovers I think I've got it right well to be fair it looks pretty much right to me. Yeah, it's not it, it's not great though. Look. <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, I know it's it's, it's part not of the SD really, one. Is it? It's just the way it works. That's yeah. exactly the same in my yeah. SD one. Typical British Leyland, isn't it? <laughs> the adjustable brake and clutch carriage had had a few modifications since we last saw it. Ah, that's so what we're doing. Put it clamp back on. I'm trying, bugger. It's just not playing. Turn it around a bit. Try it again. Trying to put things back in place so I don't lose them. Yeah. 
Not all the giant jubilee clips of the day. Yeah. Big packet of four anyway, they were too big. And then uh, I thought, where's the old ones gone? But you know, for fill a neck on petrol tank. Yeah. And uh, they were just there on end at bench, I hadn't even seen them. <laughs> right in right in uh, in front of me. <coughs> I'm going to nip them up. Right. Stop me here. I was in that. Something fell down a bit this morning. <laughs> the yeah. low wish boom. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. <coughs> Foot pipe around here for the spray gun this morning. It knocked it down there. <laughs> I think it's a, just, you know, just a quick little job, just drill a few holes. Yeah, it's never a quick little job. job. Right, screws were too long, so I had to chop them down. And then tied it at the ends of them up, you know, so I could get nuts on. And there we have the ghost of V8's past. <laughs> yeah, well, <clears throat> since your last game, I've got to crank pulley off. Yep. I've not done a bit of cleaning on it. I haven't now. been for about six weeks. Mm. Yeah, I've done quite a lot of cleaning on it now. And I've tightened that up to about 90 pound foot of torque. It says yep. about, I think it says about 150, but I, put, I thought, right, I'll put, some, I'll put a bit of lock tight, you know, just yeah. a bit of lock, thread lock on there, so. Should be alright. Is it sitting near. Um, Engine mountains and all. Oh, yeah. Let's just get up here. Yeah. At both sides? Yeah, both sides are done, yeah. I think that pipe there, I might, I might get rid of that one. It looks pretty well corroded. Uh, what's that? Something else that in its cool place. Right? Yeah, I think, I think it goes to Eater. It's a British car, you don't need a heater. They were optional extras. Yeah. Not slightly out and I'll look. See it. Hmm. It's pretty knocked or something. That's water pump, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, water pump, yeah. So it clutches in. Mm -hmm. Not done the pipe work yet though. No, I ch I chop I chopped through it, didn't I, with yeah. angle grinder, so all this needs uh Is that actually what to do? So, messed about with. So that's all running true now, when you go them down? Well, yeah, it runs true because I've chopped through all this bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slides quite nice now. But when I weld it back up, it might might change again, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Well, I'm hoping to put that Spitfire one on. Yeah. So, this is basically... Try and spit by a mark for yeah. three quarter inch bore. So bar size is right. Yeah. Because the old one were uh, three quarter, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. So we have to make like a bracket on an angle. Yeah. But sure. Obviously bolt in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like that. Enough beer probably. And I've got a piss about with, uh, with pedal as well. Oh, the joy. There's a lot of work to do over there. Yeah. Still a lot of work to do off the brakes. And steering. Yeah. 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 Uh, Mind you, one side does look like it's made some progress on that, and the other side. Yeah. Mm. But then yeah, well, like that for a while. Eventually, I'm going to make make it so it's adjustable. Yeah. Or camber, but at the moment, I think what I'm going to do is just get it back together. Yeah. Weld them little brackets on for anti roll bar. Mm -hmm. Then paint paint all with low wish bones, put it all back together again, and just get wheels back on, and then we can get engine back in. I can do I can do them uh, adjust adjustable camber then wish bones later on. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is looking. Otherwise, I'm, I'm taking too too much on it. It's taking too yeah. much time up with all modifications I'm trying to do with it. Basically, do bits at a time. I mean, that that can it'll easy come off. You know, it's not a, it's not an hard job to get them off. Yeah. So a later later period in time, you know, I can I can uh, adjust them and make mm. them how I want them. And then that gap can be filled. Mm. Time now to test the lights. So side lights. Uh, which I don't know which one's which, so I'll have to just put it in and see. That's the like reverse it. lights. Both on? Yep. So that's good. Left indicator? Yep. And this one's. Right indicator? Yep. Right indicators, right, see what that is. That's. Uh, <laughs> on, on this side it's side light and brake, on this side it's fog light. Alright, what about that? Side lights and the boots lit as well. Right, is that that's all good, is it? Yeah. Right, so I've got something wrong with that. Yep. So basically, what you've done there is, I think you've wired up. What about this one? Nothing. Hmm. Hmm. That's strange. <laughs> what about that one? Uh, fog light and side light. Ah, right, that's wrong. Right, so I've got. Hmm. So whenever that one lights, whether it's on full brightness or yeah. half brightness, well, what that one comes on. Right. Ah, oh, that's wrong. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, because you've got you've got side light. Uh, sorry, right. You've got side, yeah, light, side light. light. You've got brake light, and you've got an earth. So that's that's correct. But I've got I've, I've got one of these here mixed up. But which one is it? <laughs> is that on? Nothing's on. I've got no copper wire left up with the cable. Oops. I don't know what to... Well, I know what's happened, that's come off. Oh, so the problem's that end? Yeah. There's something to hold it on with. What to do? That's my wire that fell off. Oops. Let's try and get that back on. But I've got one mixed up, that's what I've done. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Right. Go back to the side lights red in there. So it should be the second one up. Right. Let me have a look and see. Side light. Right. Yep, side lights are fine. Right, that's on, that's on, that's on. Yep. They're not too bright, are they? No, nope, they're fine. Right, so that's good. Right, no, that's right. So I've got, I'll tell you what's happened, the fog light has got mixed up with brake light. Yep. That's right, right. Okay, so... Right, take that out of there. If you, actually, if you stick the fog on now, I'll, I'll make sure the um, the boot light... That right, so light fog up. light should be second one up at bottom, which is that. Uh, oh, that's interesting. That's swapped around now. So that one was. So when that one was lit, when when that one oh, was lit, fire. that one lit up. Mm -hmm. Now that that one's lighting up, that's lighting up. So that's so that, basically that swapping the brake. No. Um, but that doesn't. Oh yeah, but we've got key. right. We've got brake. We've got a brake light and a fog light mixed up. Yep. So we need to swap them around. Right, well, I've got my, yeah, that's my diagram. You might have been it? better off leaving the boot for a bit. <laughs> yeah, you'll <coughs> fucking boot lid on. There, uh, right, okay. So, red, yeah, that's okay, that's right, that's good. Um, fog lights should be red and blue. Red and blue. Can't fucking see out, that's trouble. At this point, I had to stop filming and use my phone as a torch. But. Right. Okay. Yeah, they're lighting up properly now. Both of them? Yep. Right, so now. Brake lights. Brake lights is bottom left. Fine, that's done. Right, that's what I had wrong then. I've got them two wires mixed up. Basically, it's mixed up on that side. Because I can't <laughs> see down there. <laughs> Right. Do you want to make sure your side lights still work? Yeah, I better do. Uh, side lights is next one up, which is that. 
That's fine. And the boots lit up. Yep. Let's uh, reverse. Yep, they're fine. Yep. Yep. Everything's good. Yep. Right yep. indicator. Yep. Left indicator. Right. Everything's good. Brilliant. Now we get to hear the bike in action. Well, possibly. I suppose it's good anti theft. No, what habits? Oh, yeah, confused people. Daft idea, take it to your cup. Nearly. Yeah. Well, it's running, it's running beautiful. Can smell it anyway. It always smells like cat gums. There's old cat gums. Yeah, there. yeah. I've still got. To, I've got to do um, tap it. Well, valve clearances. Yeah. Because uh, Blot said he'd done it, done them, but I'm not, I'm not sure that he did or not. Yeah.